times more air. Why is that? Because when you move the diaphragm, which is here, there's no air in the belly. But as you do this, you bring air to here. And the lungs are here. The lungs are not here. I mean, it's a part of the lung here. But this breathing is emotional. Builds emotion. I start to become chill. Just like it's claustrophobic. It's emotional. It's short. Give you emo give you feelings, a bad feelings, because this is too much close to the heart. You should breathe with your diaphragm. Singers do that. Yogas do that. Uh, uh, divers do that. Good jiu-jitsu fighters do that. Some play tennis players, ah, ah, they do that too. Because breathing, movement, and, and full capacity of air is important for us to understand. So you have to have a full capacity of your lungs, first important thing. So you start to use the diaphragmatic breathing. The diaphragm is, is, a, is a muscle who goes horizontal like this. And the strength is like, When I do this, I push my diaphragm down, so it feels like it's air in the belly. It's nothing in the belly, it's just guts. But that's the opposite. I bring in the diaphragm up. So I've been studying and training my diaphragm for life. Since 16 years old, when I learn, I start to develop that movement, which is inhale, exhale, and then hyperventilate, or sometimes I'm stressed. Let's, let's make this peaceful in three minutes. If I do this for three minutes, there's no stress in my mind can hold because I have to focus on my body, my breathing, my rhythm. So I can be stressed as hell. Five minutes later, I'm calm, ready to sleep. When I was already previous a fight, I get in the stadium five hours before. I sleep for three hours and then wake up, warm up, put myself 130 heartbeats, 140 heartbeats a minute to break the sweat like 20 minutes before the fight. And then, 10 minutes of relaxation, bring my heartbeat to six heartbeats a minute. So I stay toof, 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 toof. So when I go to the fight, I'm hot, but my heart is very slow. When I engage, I press the gas. There's no way for the guy to cheat or, 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 or make me waste more energy. Than him. So we press the gas together. I make my moves, he has to respond. So, but he's already started the fight with 90, 95. So when he's 120, I'm 90. When he's 140, I'm 100. So when he gets 170, 108, when he need, needs to regroup, I already in the best of me, so I still 160, 140, and ready to go. So when he needs to, oh man, as the time for me to make the kill, I have done many fights, which I, I, quick, I quickly submit the guy because he's just get confused and I don't give him a break. So it's not only techniques of fighting, it's also the breathing, the emotional. You, you want to say something? How do you breathe in the diaphragm? I'm sorry, the breathe, oh yes. So, breathing is, some, is the best, the more you understand your breathing function, more you can fix your body. If you stress, if you tired, if you cold in the surfing like you need, you start to get hot again. Whatever you need, breathing is the best fast, fast uh, option. So this is dead, this is live. What the difference between the muscle, live or dead, is contraction. We can define liveness by contraction. 
the heart, the liver, whatever. It's contraction is good. So our breathing system works in the opposite way that we think. You think when you're in a the, in the fight, hey man, hey man, I die. That's the opposite what's supposed to be. Because the inhale is the dead motion. You don't want to, I need, I need. That's the opposite of what's supposed to do. More air you need, more you have to clean the air. So, oh man, you have to take it off. When you relax, so as you practice, your concern is not to bring the air in. If you tomorrow start to practice, your concern is going to be put the gas out in your own rhythm. And you're going to start to feel the, 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 the capacity you have to overcome tiredness or the, the, the lightness in your brain. Because when you get tired, you're not only dysfunctional in your body, but your brain gets stupid, gets lazy. Because you start to make important decisions. It's not a, a, enough oxygen for everything. When you do hyperventilation, you can be like acid lactic. Sometimes you get tired, you cannot move your arms anymore. It's too much cramp. But your brain is still functioning perfectly because it's enough blood for, to feed the brain. So I highly recommend you guys to learn how to breathe. Use the diaphragm to action, to train in jiu-jitsu, to practice, to, to make uh, love. Whatever you do, breathing will help you immensely. I